Hello everyone, my name is Raj. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to continue from the point where we left off. So in the previous one, what we did was we added the animation control to our blueprint, which was like this. And in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how we can change the text of this widget. So without any further delay, I'm going to continue. By the way, if you have not checked out part one and part two of this tutorial, please do so because we are continuing from there. If you have not seen them, it will be difficult for you to follow along. So I would request that you go and see it first. Okay, so now how do we change the text? Let me jump to the widget blueprint. So this is the widget blueprint. In the previous tutorial, we had created this animation. Now we want to change the text. So what I will do is, I will select the text and I will make sure that here the is variable is checked. All right. And I will just give this a proper name UMG text input. Okay. Compile and save. So that's it in the UMG part of it. I will jump to my main blueprint. In the event graph, I will go all the way down. So this is something we had created in the previous tutorials. So in a new area, I am going to take the variable which was created in the previous tutorial. So please do check it out if you have not. I'm going to drag it to the event graph and say get. And from here, I'm going to drag a pin and search for get text umg text input okay so from the umg i am getting this umg text input in my blueprint from here i'm going to drag another pin and i'm just going to search for set text click i need to put in a variable for the text so click on variable and i'm going to say new text and it is already a string so i don't have to change it so string i'm going to drag it here and do a get connect it to the text like this i will make the variable public and if i select the new text i will add a default text over here so i will compile now i have the area where i can type in the default text so i will just type new text okay now for this to execute i will just add another custom event right click and search for add custom event i will call this update text and connect it like this i will select the update text and call in editor compile and save now here in the viewport i will click play select the blueprint now you can see i have the play and uh, play reverse and play forward from the previous tutorial and i also have the text input and an update text so now if i click on update text it should take this text i can type anything i want here and it should update and also the play will work now instead of this update text what i can do is I can go back to my blueprint and I can connect this entire thing to the event tick which is over here. So we had created the event tick in the very first tutorial. So instead of this update text, I'm going to delete it. All right. And I'm going to connect this directly like this. All we are doing here is taking the widget and then we are applying it as a texture. To the screen so if you have not checked out part one and part two please do it's it will be easy to understand and now i don't need an update text separately because it will this uh, text will update on event tick so compile and save and if i play and i go to my blueprint i can type anything and it should update in real time i mean it, i just have to type enter okay and this works as expected now someone had commented that why do i need to connect it to event tick 
because it event tick is performance heavy that is right if you don't want to connect it to event tick you can do another thing just disconnect this by clicking alt and left click we will not use event tick i will just right click and add a custom event we call this update widget i will connect this here and i will call this widget in the editor compile save and now i'm going to click play select the blueprint and now nothing happens you see the texture has not updated because it's not an event tick anymore it's a custom event so we need to click on update widget in order for the widget to be applied as a texture first if you see here only when i call this custom event it will, the texture will be created and will be applied to the screen and then the text will be updated so first update widget we have this text already applied as well as the widget and now if i want to change something okay if i hit enter nothing happens i have to again hit on update widget so this is how you update your text so far in this tutorial we have seen how to create a widget how to apply the widget as a texture to a static mesh how to add text to the widget how to control the text how to control the animation in the next part of this tutorial which will be part 4 i will be adding an image to the widget and we will see how we can animate and control the image similar to the text that we just did so if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to it i will be coming up with such similar kind of tutorials in the future and if you have any questions please do leave it in the comment down below like the video and share it thank you so much for watching my name is raj and i will see you in the next one